Hello everyone and welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me Richard Perry market analyst at Handtech on Thursday the 9th of July. There's a, an edge of risk positive that has basically just swung back into the markets overnight. Uh, we saw a pretty decent um, rebound actually on Wall Street into the close last night and you've sort of seen futures holding up today more all-time highs on the Nasdaq last night. Um, and uh, just the um, the sense that uh, risk positive swing is sort of taking hold. You can see that the dollar has been under pressure in the last few days and falling away. Uh, Was that three, four week lows on the dollar index now? Um, and it's just coming as China. Interestingly, uh, Chinese assets are still being bought, um, and uh, that subsequently uh, is helping to strengthen the yuan, which means it's now below seven for the first time since March now, um, trading against the dollar. So that's um, an interesting indication of improved risk appetite. And we can see that some key moves have been have, uh, seen across these major currencies. We saw euro dollar above 13.50 earlier today, just pulled back a little bit, but that's an interesting move. Uh, sterling dollar, again, strong moves there. Um, we've also got the uh, the big breakout on gold. That uh, gold is running along that uh, dollar weakness that we've got. The 1800 bucks breakout. Um, levels not seen since 2011 on gold. Really strong breakout. And silver is also following suit as well. Uh, I'll talk about the technical implications of that move on silver in my chart of the day. But generally speaking, a risk positive move. Although you could argue there is still swing um, sort of in a seesaw fashion back and forth, back and forth. Of risk appetite over the past few sessions but today we're looking a little bit more risk positive again um keep an eye on on the is still hovering unable to really claim a move above that 43.93 level of the june high on brent crude still sort of hovering around that That's, does that bode a little bit less positively maybe i'm not entirely sure how to read that at the moment um Interesting uh, that the data point that we've only really got to look forward to today is the uh, weekly jobless claims data. Um, jobless claims 1.37 million. Now, that's obviously lower than we continue to see this uh, line falling away. But as you can see, is it flattening off? That is the question. Still 1.37 million um, of claims and um, let's have a look at the um, continuing claims, 19 million continued claims um so yeah that's uh, still a hell of a lot of jobs less claims that uh, or unemployment that uh, seems to still be in the us um okay so that takes me on to my chart of the day now silver precious metals have broken out silver following on that gold move above 1836 on the breakout on silver but also 1894 that uh, reaction high from february we're seeing a move above there today as well. So what I'm taking this as is, is a range play uh, breakout. And you could argue around about $1.40 of upside projection. So measured from that breakout, you're looking at 19, 1950, 1970 area, I think is an upside target on the silver breakout, certainly considering we're now breaking through this uh, resistance of the February high. And what's that? September 2019, 1964 pretty much almost entirely projected by that breakout target. You've got the uh, technicals suggesting that the upside move is being flanked by this uptrend. Nice strong uptrend there. You've got the strength through the momentum indicators as well. RSI 69, almost 70. That's um, again sort of reflects the breakout, but still has upside potential. 76, 75, 76 area on in May. We saw those... Uh, those um, moves on the uh, RSI. So you've got that, you've got the stochastic strong, you've got a bull cross on the MACD lines. It's all set up positively, I think, to, to see further gains in that silver price. You've got the, um, I think, any intraday weakness in silver is a chance to buy. Looking at how the RSI is a little bit stretched, you could argue it might unwind a little bit. You've got this support band overnight, 1860, arguably, up towards 1875. And I think that what we've got at the moment is that any weakness on silver is likely to be bought into. 1836 is a key level on an ongoing basis. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. 
and go to our website, sign up for our webinars and also click to watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas.